Hello, everybody, and welcome back. So you got to stretch your imagination with me just a little bit here today, but I think you'll find it worth your while if you'll do it and just, and just forgive the childish aspects of this. But see, the problem is, is that, or the, the, the thing is, is that I have discovered that it's the childish stuff that actually works for us. All the brainiac stuff that we've been trying for all, all these years, uh, we're not smart enough to notice that it hasn't worked. <laughs> So we just do more of it. Isn't that right? I mean, that's what I did, I, um, but I only did it for 24 years. Right? All the Brainiac, figure it out, put it together, last little bit on just the, the, the jigsaw puzzle. I need this piece. God almighty. I'm, I'm almost there. <laughs> I'm going to wake up soon. So... What I want you to see is that in puppet world, it's inhabited by puppets. And it's a world very similar to this one, except for uh, it's, but it's inhabited by puppets. It's actually just like this one, but it's inhabited by puppets. Now, this puppet, uh, whose name is Bob, and Bob means nothing. It's a name I just now pulled out of the air. But now you and I will both look at this puppet and when we look at it, we will think, there is Bob. <laughs> now, it's a puppet, and we will still think, there is Bob. There's nobody home here. There is no Bob. This is a puppet with a name that I'm giving it called Bob. And I will henceforth refer to this puppet as Bob, and you will henceforth see a Bob when I refer to this. Now, if you can't stretch your imagination that much, just well, how about I, I call this a Fred? <laughs> Can you push your imagination that far to imagine that this is a puppet called a Fred? That's it. This is a puppet called Fred. This is a puppet called Bob. Now, the puppet Fred is here to tell you a story about the puppet Bob. And just so you are very, very clear, whatever's watching this video, that's a puppy too. <laughs> and I know that it doesn't feel like, quote, you are a puppet, but there's nobody over there. See, the thing that thinks it's not a puppet is a puppet. But it's actually the thing that actually thinks it's a puppet, really and truly, is awakeness. A whiteness thinks it's a Fred puppet. A whiteness actually can come to believe that it's a Bob puppet. It's not, it's not any further stretched than this is. But this puppet in this life is a teaching puppet. It's a spiritual teacher. Really, it's a spiritual unteacher, but you know, it falls off the tongue the way it falls off the tongue. So, and then and Bob has just come to me today with a problem that he would like for me to solve. And Bob's problem is that he would like to find out what his true nature is. <laughs> now, Bob ain't got no true nature because what isn't here can't have a true nature. And Fred doesn't have a true nature either. And what's watching this that thinks it's a, if it thinks it's a Tom or a Carol, they don't have any true nature either. You don't have any true nature. But there is true nature. It's just not that it's not, it's not owned or experienced by a Fred or a Bob. Because See, me, me, me and Bob, we're pretty much, you know, well, you could say we're hand in glove. <laughs> I just couldn't resist that, right? So this, so Bob would like to actually become enlightened. And he's not quite sure how to do that, but he's heard about spiritual and teachers. And so he's come to the, the handiest one. And, uh, and has come to me to solve his problem. Now, I want you to understand something about Bob. There's no Bob here. 
Are you clear on that? I mean, we just pointed out. Because initially this was a puppet and then it was a Bob, right? It's just a puppet. It's just like this was a body and then it was a Fred. But what changed when it went from being a body to a Fred? The mind changed. What else changed? Nothing. <laughs> so there's no Fred here, there's no Bob here. But Bob wants to be enlightened. And Bob thinks that Fred's enlightened. See how that is? Isn't that convenient? Bob thinks Fred's enlightened. But Fred can't be enlightened because there's no Fred. Just as Bob can't be enlightened because there's no Bob. See, but this is very frustrating to Bob. Because Bob, regardless of the facts that I'm telling him, that there's no Bob, there's no Bob, there's no Bob, there's no Bob, there's no Bob. Bob insists on looking for Bob's true nature. <laughs> now, what's not here just can't have a true nature, even though there is true nature. But it's not Bob's true nature. It's not Fred's true nature. And it's not your personal true nature. Because there's no one over there personally. I know it feels like it. But let's just let's look at this. I mean, it's the, we, we've heard a lot about the idea that there's just oneness, right? And, I mean, you know, I mean, it's non-duality, it's not two. So, you know, just, I think it's done not too much of a stretch for, <laughs> for us to say that there's only oneness. So, since there's only oneness, um, what is it that thinks it's a Bob? And what is it that thinks that it needs to wake up oneness and what will oneness wake up to will this puppet ever wake up to the truth of oneness nope but oneness can wake up to the fiction of bob and that's what happens see we go about i spent 24 years Looking for Fred's true nature. I mean, I've got almighty. I looked up and down and all around, and I just didn't find it to save my life. I never, I never even considered what might be looking for Fred's true nature because I assumed that that was Fred. The Fred's, that, that was Fred's false nature, looking for Fred's true nature. Does that make any sense to you? It made sense to me for years, but not because I had thought about it, just because there was a, a, an addiction, a habit, a seeking, a pursuit of something else, of something more, of uh, just something, something different. I mean, just, you know, I'm, I'm just looking for something other than this. Because <laughs> this is such a disappointment. And it's true that this is a disappointment to the me. Because there's something broken, there's something wrong, there's something missing. I don't know what it is, but there's, a, there's something wrong here. And that goes for Bob and it goes for Fred. As long as we're viewing from an individual point of view, there is going to be a problem. We're going to experience a problem. We're going to believe in a problem. When I say we're, that's the royal we that I'm using for oneness. Because <laughs> there ain't no we're, there's no we then it's not just that there's nobody here, there's nobody there. And it's not just that there's nobody here and nobody there, there's nobody. See, that's nature of oneness, is that there's only everything. And that sounds kind of funny, isn't it? That there's only everything. But this everything is one thing showing up as everything. And even the one thing is no thing showing up as one thing. Ah. That's a lot that you <laughs> You are that which is prior to consciousness, but you are, uh, uh, due to the sense of being, there is, it, it, when I say you, it just means I'm hung by language. I'm not really pointing to anything. There's no entity out there. There's no one driving this bus. There's not a Bob driving this bus. There's not a Fred driving this bus. And there is not a God driving this bus. Just, just, there's just busing. <laughs> <clears throat> and we're busing. 
and half, half of us are curious and half of us are terrified. We're terrified, half of us are, we're, we're, and, 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 and some of us are terrified that we're gonna find something and the other half is terrified that we're gonna find nothing. But either way, the, the idea is that I have to give up Fredness, I have to give up my individuality in order to discover this, this other thing that surely must be. This, what I've heard, you know, I am that. What, what do they mean by that? Ooh, there's this and there's that. But actually, there's only that from which this arises. And what is that? I don't know. <laughs> That's unbelievable, isn't it? But the truth is, I don't know. I know I can't understand it either. So I have a given up on trying. I have abandoned the notion of, of understanding this. I just want you to take a look when you when and when you go go to your mirror, you could do it now. And look inside, look, at, look in your mirror, and then call your name and think of Bob. See? When, because that's what's happening, is that you're looking at a puppet. Just like I'm looking at a puppet right now. I was looking at a puppet when I shaved earlier today. And I will be, and I'm looking at a puppet right now. And this is puppet world. And it's very, very critical for puppets. But it doesn't mean a thing to me. I'm not even in puppet world. <laughs> puppet world is actually none of my business. And I don't care to make it my business. Because when I make it my business, I suffer. And I just don't care for suffering. <sighs> well, I've got to go hold a song, song. So in uh, 15 minutes. So i got to get out of here. But it's been fun talking to you, even if it was brief. And um, some of you who are watching this, I've just seen in Satsang or I'm fixing to see. So see you, see you later. Bye-bye.